Okay, so let's start with the tool panel. There are a number of techniques that you can use to control the appearance and the position of the tool panel. Let's start by going up to the top of the tool panel to the little gray bar where there are two arrows. If you click the two arrows once, then you convert the tool panel to a two column arrangement. Click the two arrows again and you go back to the single column arrangement. The single column arrangement is probably the most effective use of screen space. It takes up slightly less room, but still gives you access to all the tools that you need. You can reposition the tool panel if you want to. To do that, you put your cursor again into the gray bar along the top edge, and then simply drag and reposition the panel. Now, if you click the two arrows in the gray bar along the top, you can create a horizontal arrangement of the panel. Click again on the two arrows and again to get back to that single column arrangement. You can dock the tool panel back on the left hand edge, which is probably a very sensible place to put it, uh, by dragging in the grey bar along the top. But you do have to be a little bit careful about that. For example, if you accidentally click on the close button, whoops, like I've done there, you will hide the panel. To show it again, simply go to the window menu and then choose tools to bring it back. This time, if I'm a little bit more careful, I put my cursor in the gray bar and drag. What I'm looking for here is when my cursor hits the edge of the InDesign window, you see a dimmed cyan bar. That indicates that when I release, the tool panel will be docked back to the left-hand edge of the InDesign window. 